The deadly terrorist attacks in Mumbai, India happened five years ago this week. Amid the carnage of that night, a story of hope and survival emerged involving a Jewish baby and his Indian nanny. Ian Lee now reports after saving the infant during the attack, the nanny has stayed by his side ever since. Moishi is your typical seven-year-old rambunctious. Funny, funny guy, this boy. His nanny, Sandra Samuel, raised him from a baby. You're becoming big now. I can't carry you. But carry him she did through gunfire and smoke five years ago in Mumbai when terrorists stormed this Jewish center where they were living, killing Moishi's parents, Gabriel Holtzberg, and his wife, Rivka. Even now, I can picture Rabbi Gabi and Rivki screaming, and Rabbi Gabi fighting, the noise, fighting with the terrorist, throwing the chairs, the, the sound of it, yes, even now, I can see it as a picture. Reciting Psalm 23, Sandra shepherded Moshi to safety. Once security forces regained control, they found six people were dead. Moshi's parents' bodies were brought to Israel. Rivka's father, Rabbi Shimon Rosenberg, helped bury them on the Mount of Olives. Sandra, the nanny, is the nanny, it's not a regular nanny. It's nanny which feeling like an angel from God of take the boy. Sandra is never far from Moshi's side. Moshe boy and I will always be close, and I hope uh, we will always have that connection. Moishi's grandfather wants to keep memories of his daughter and son-in-law alive. He's constructing a community center to honor the young caretakers of the Mumbai Jewish Center. He also hopes it inspires Moishi. I give him in the mind, Moishi, you need a Jewish mind, you need it doing the same what father and the mother are doing. There might be some solace for Sandra in that. She still carries regret. Bravery, I can't, uh, I can't uh, say I was brave at that moment, no. If I was brave, I could have gone at that same day and done something for, for the parents. While she may question her bravery, for this family, there's no question. She's a hero. Ian Lee, CNN, Jerusalem.